Hi guys, remember when we read The Very Hungry Caterpillar? Oh, there's that word, T-H-E, the, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Do you remember when we read this? Okay, we're gonna do it again today, but um, Miss Donna's gonna, and Miss Abby are gonna act it out. We're gonna show you things, okay? It's gonna be fun. So ready? So one night by the light of the moon, there laid a little leaf and a little tiny egg. And then out came the sun and pop came a little caterpillar. There he is, the little caterpillar. And guess what? When he popped out of that egg, there's the egg, he popped out of that egg. No more egg. He was very, very hungry. So he started to look for food. The first thing that he found to eat was an apple. And he ate through one apple on Monday morning. Okay? So on Monday, he ate through one apple. We'll put it right in here. Here's the caterpillar. He ate through one apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. One, two. Two pears on Tuesday, but he was still hungry. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three purple plums. So on Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Doink, doink, doink. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But guess what? He was still hungry. Yep, you're right. Let's put him in there. One, two, three, four. Boy, he's got a lot of stuff in his stomach. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. So on Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But guess what? Yeah, he was still hungry. On Saturday, oh boy, ready? He ate a lot of things on Saturday. He ate through one piece of cake one ice cream cone, one pickle. This is all on Saturday. One piece of cheese, Swiss cheese, one salami, wow. One lollipop, one piece of apple pie, one sausage, Wow, he ate a lot on Saturday. One cupcake with frosting and one piece of watermelon. All on Saturday, he ate all that stuff on one day. All that sweet, not good for you food. And guess what? That night, the caterpillar, guess what? He had a very bad stomach ache. Oh, my stomach. I ate through so much garbage food. I need to find something nice to eat. What, what, what should he eat? What do caterpillars eat that's good for them? Yeah, a nice green leaf. So he ate through one green leaf on Sunday morning. And guess what? He felt so much better. But guess what? He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big caterpillar because he ate all that food. He wasn't little anymore. He was big, yes. So now, guess what? He went, he found a tree, and he made a cocoon, okay? And he put the, he made the cocoon. That's, the, that's his home. Well, chrysalis, because a cocoon is for a moth. Butterflies make a 
chrysalis. Can you say chrysalis? Chrysalis. Yes, let's clap it. Chrysalis. Count it with me. Chrysalis. Three parts. So he made a chrysalis all around him, and he stayed in there. He stayed in there for quite a long time, probably two weeks. That's 14 days he stayed in his chrysalis. And then guess what happened? He wiggled and wiggled and wiggled and wiggled. And all of a sudden, he broke out. And guess what it was? A beautiful butterfly came out. And that is the life cycle of a butterfly. They start out as an egg on a leaf, okay? And then they pop out as a tiny caterpillar, okay? And then they eat and eat and eat till they turn into a bigger caterpillar. Then they make a chrysalis and they go inside the chrysalis and they stay in there for 14 days, sometimes longer. And then they break out into a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. And that's the life cycle of the butterfly. Can you say that? The life cycle of a butterfly. An egg on a leaf pops out small caterpillar. He eats, 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 gets bigger, makes his home in a chrysalis, breaks out of the chrysalis, hatches out, and there's the beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Okay? Thanks for listening, guys. I hope you liked that. Bye.